I think the major issue is is that Qatar is seeking to promote the Muslim Brotherhood throughout North Africa and also in Syria as well. And this is making a lot of Qatar's neighbors nervous. And in that sense, they want Doha to slow down the political aspect of Qatari foreign policy in this regard. And therefore, the political issue is coming to the forefront while the economic issue remains static. In the past, when you think of the Middle East, the major pillars of power, fair to say, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Egypt. How does Qatar rock that boat or, or shake mm -hmm. the foundations of that uh, trio of power uh, that we've seen traditionally in the Middle East? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think what we're looking at now is a new order in the Middle East as a result of the Arab Spring and this new order uh, has Qatar as one of the major players and that has forced countries like Egypt and Saudi Arabia uh, to back down or back away. Uh, Turkey has tried to take the mantle uh, but unfortunately has unable to spread its message of neo-Ottoman Ottomanism uh, throughout uh, the rest of the region due to the volatile nature and the changing politics going on within uh, the Levant itself. Uh, Egypt in particular, of course, uh, under Morsi, the government is unable to really project a coherent foreign policy at this time. So then we're left with Saudi Arabia and the Saudis do seem to be uh, stepping up to the plate a little bit more in terms of what their vision is uh, for the new order in the Middle East. So we may see some um, uh, contributions by both Saudi Arabia and Qatar, but also some disagreements as well. This is fascinating to watch because, as you know, Ted, uh, going back to 1992, Qatar was almost bankrupt, and this emir made a huge bet, the correct bet, on LNG to bring in that fortune on the natural mm -hmm. gas. Is this mm -hmm. Qatar making up for the fact that because it mm -hmm. didn't have the economic clout in the past, that it is flexing its muscles in a very large way now to make up for some time? I think that this is a major issue in the sense of uh, the energy uh, capabilities that Qatar does indeed possess now. And it is not only in the energy realm, but it's also in the realm of where Qatar is investing its monies overseas. There's a lot of property investment ongoing in Europe. Uh, there's also a lot of investment and uh, other financial instruments that are being uh, uh, purchased in uh, places such as the United States. And besides Europe and the United States, this is also true for the Far East. And from the Qatari point of view, this is their guarantee that their successes uh, since uh, the export of LNG began, uh, that uh, world powers will come to save them if they ever are threatened uh, by any outside power.